Howdy, folks. A little bit of a wind noise. It's somewhat blustery out. But uh, So I was going to just quietly and very mild-manneredly edit some videos together this morning when the mad rappers in the neighborhood decided to play with their system a bit. So for about five minutes straight... <laughs> And I could actually hear some higher instruments. So it's probably like those kids, they get their first subwoofer and they don't know what a crossover is, so they send stuff that's way too high through the subwoofer. It's just a, uh, well, I've seen stuff like that from Bose, too. So anyways, that's another discussion entirely. Well, since uh, these folks had the first say, let's actually put something a little bit less obnoxious, a uh, test tone, a rumble, through these clipshes. Just to reacquaint myself with how much they can be a fart machine at the bottom of their uh, range capabilities. So, I got my models mixed up. This one, the 4.1s with the dual 6.5s, could get down to 30 hertz, but it wasn't very... It wasn't... It, they get down to 30 hertz. It was the dual 8s in the 5.1s that I want to refurbish that could get down to 20-something. But 30 hertz on this, when it bottoms out, it turns into a pneumatic whoopee cushion. So, I brought over the Turd Shiva just as an example of this. So, in the early systems I had, they could handle 100 hertz, and I remember I said, Oh, I got 100 hertz, they thought it was bassy. Yeah, some of that's going through the sub, but then you get down to 60 hertz, which sounds like you get down to 60 hertz, which sounds like, this is the AC frequency here in the States, which sounds like something's uh, electrocuting or shorting out. Turn that, turn down, <laughs> listen to that volume. So you get a nice bass there, a little bit of noise through the port. Now um, the, go down to 50 hertz, which is the frequency that you get for overseas um, electricity and whatnot. So you're getting a decent chunk, a little rumbling, a little bit of uh, air from here. There we go. So even 40 hertz, even 40 hertz can still be very, very, uh, well, as in actual bass and not noise. Starting to, starting to resonate with the room. Get some air coming out of that thing. And don't forget, this is at only a little bit. Let's put it down to the recommended subwoofer level on that old thing. So, and by the way, the volume's only at, what, 20%? So here's what it sounds like at 30 hertz, the minimum frequency where this, this thing bottoms out with its two six and a halfs. Two eights will go down lower, but fart machine time. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not bass. Let me just jack the sub all the way. Kind of a, well, if you turn the bass down, then you start getting, oops. If you turn the subwoofer down, you start getting a proper 30 hertz. But the minute you have, you put it up even at the recommended level, so you figure, <laughs> turn it up like this. Excuse you! <laughs> well, it's that's the laws of physics doing their thing. These things are bottoming out at 30 hertz. Even though the thing technically can go down to 30 hertz, it's not advisable to do so. And before people are wondering what the hell I'm running in here, <laughs> enough playing with the fart machine subwoofer. <laughs> this cheesiness is why I want this to only be the system I use in the project area, and maybe link into the main system through mini somehow. But other than that, uh, yeah, it's kind of tacky. Thank goodness, though, I got this in a scratch and dent B-stock sale, so I paid nowhere near full price for these things. But hey, versus Alltech Lansing and Cambridge Soundworks at the time, they kicked their ass. But anything newer or anything more standardized or anything more current, eh, yeah. So even Klipsch can make a fart machine from time to time. Multimedia J, out.